Dan here at Sugar Tree Run. Today I want to show you some tips for cleaning buckets. Now buckets have kind of been phased out of the maple syrup industry. A lot of the galvanized pails did have lead in them. Uh, they're not good for long-term storage. The buckets that I actually use were tested and were, were shown to be lead free. However, uh, most folks have used on to the poly bags or tubing in a lot of cases. But as someone who is maybe thinking about doing syrup for the first time, uh, entering into this hobby can be a little bit cost prohibitive. So if you are able to find some, some used equipment uh, that's being maybe phased out from a larger producer uh, for a reasonable cost and again have it tested and it's lead free, uh, go ahead and use that at least for your first few years until you kind of get comfortable with uh, the fact that you're going to be doing syrup and, and the time and investment that it takes. So uh, today we're going to show you how to kind of rinse these out when your season's over, let them uh, kind of get the main debris and any dirt off of them, and then we're going to put them in a boiling uh, water bath to fully sanitize them, flip them upside down, let them completely air dry, and then stack them up for storage. Okay, we've got our buckets all pre-rinsed and stacked up here drying. This helps remove any dirt or mud or insects or small debris that might have been on the outside or inside of the bucket before we take them into the boiling water bath to do a final clean. Okay, we've brought a large bath of water up to a boil and we're gonna use that to dip our buckets in and brush them out and make sure that they're all clean. We've pre-rinsed our buckets to make sure there's no debris or mud or dirt on the exterior or interior of them. And this is kind of a final sanitization process. Now we're using our main steam pan actually to do this and we previously cleaned it. And you can check out the videos on our channel for how to do that. But we wanted a nice, pure, clean water boil bath to clean these with. So we're just gonna simply take the bucket, dip it in, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, we've got our bucket here. We're just gonna set this into the bath and we're gonna let that sit for a moment and we're gonna kind of turn it, make sure we've wetted all the surfaces of the bucket and we can actually bring it upright. We can get a couple in here and we can kind of scrub these out with our brush. Okay, now what we've done is actually place three buckets into this bath at a time. And we're gonna let them sit here and, and get sanitized for a few minutes. And we're gonna use a, uh, a large brush to get down in there and kind of scrub these out and make sure there's no residue left. Once we've done that, we'll pull them out, let them dry out, and then we're ready to store them until next season. Okay, so you can kind of use different kinds of brushes. You can use this, uh, this large brush if you want to. Kind of get down in here and really make sure you're scrubbing out the bottom as well as the sides of the bucket. Now I've got high temperature waterproof gloves on as well. That's important so you don't get burned. Um, but then you can also use a, a smaller brush as well to kind of reach down in to the bottom or something with an angle on it. Uh, so you can kind of get into the corners and everything without a, without a problem. The large brush is, is a little challenging to do that with. So between the combination of these two, you should be able to get these very clean. And then again, um, when they're all done, let them dry. Okay, an easy way to clean your spirals is to also put them into the boiling bath. And we're actually gonna dump them all into a bucket in here so we can easily pull them all out when we dump this out. So you're gonna let those boil for at least 10 minutes and they should become sanitized at that point and ready to dry out and be stored for next year. Okay, we've got our first set of buckets all scrubbed up, pulled out of the hot water bath and we've set them over here on some strips of wood to dry. Once these are completely dry, as well as all the others that we've got to wash today, we will stack them up and put them away for next year. So thanks again for, for watching Sugar Tree Run. We hope you've learned a little bit about how to clean up your equipment after your season's over. You can subscribe to our channel below to continue to learn more, as well as like our video below.